Hello friends and welcome back to my apartment where this time I will not be crying. I mean, no promises. We haven't made it through the end of the video, but I figured I'd do. Oh, cheers, by the way. This is my $1 Polar Seltzer Cranberry Lime flavor to get in the spirit of the holidays in a stolen chilies cup. My mom worked in the waste staff industry. She says it's totally fine if you do it to chains. No mom and pop stealing, okay? Corporations, turn a blind eye every now and then for little things. Anyways, I thought I'd share with you guys my updated makeup routine because I've actually kind of updated it for the first time in like seven years. Uh, but I am actually having a glass of cheap $6 wine in a stolen hula hands um, cup. These are the only two I have. Please don't like think of my moral judgment. My cat died, okay? <laughs> I feel like I'm not, I'm like joking about how sometimes I'll randomly like have breakdowns or like act kind of like a shitty friend lately. And I'm genuinely, it's because I'm kind of depressed because I my cat died, but I think it's hilarious also that like that's, I, I don't ever use it as an excuse, but that is the reason why I'm acting certain ways sometimes. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, trying to find lightness in a really sad situation. Anyways, said there was not gonna be any crying in this video, so let's get to the point. I'm PMSing, so my skin is like really red right now, so I start by using this really dirty. All my stuff's kind of dirty, guys. I'm a messy gal. Feral Girl Summer never ends for me. This color corrector from NYX, I really, really like. And it kind of helps just with that redness um that i get when it's close to my time of the month i get like this red ring around my mouth it looks like a little kid who got into the kool-aid and then i take this yellow shade right here to go get kind of the under the eye bags or circles that i have then i blend it out with my beauty blender from elf some days when i'm like really just in a hurry or i really want that like no makeup look i will literally just use this color corrector because i feel like it works really well and it actually has like a really good contour shade too, um, but I actually just like use that all up so there's not really any left in the palette. Nothing annoys me more than foundation lips. Then I'm going to take Old Reliable, there are some repeat products in this video, my Clinique Even Better Foundation in the shade Ivory. I feel like I'm the only person who's like not 50 years old who uses Clinique products, but they're really, really good. I like that this one has like stuff in it that makes your skin better, like it's not heavy. And I love a good BB cream. I will say the one thing about like not having a very clean sponge is I'm noticing that it's like sucking up way more product. Oh yeah, also my dirty headband thing needs to be washed. My cat died, okay. <laughs> I forgot to do the, the pre-serum thing. I have the Hydro Grip from Milk. But maybe that's okay because I feel like, although I do really like the Hydro Grip, I don't like to use it when my skin's dry because I feel like it dries it out even more. But if I was using like a primer or whatever, it would be that one. Is I was like wondering if you guys had any tips on how to not make your makeup transfer because one second, I have to show you. All of my coats in the winter end up looking like this. And it's really annoying to have to wash like a coat there, you know? And then whenever I'm going to like hug my boyfriend, I have to like go like this because I feel like my face is super transfer. I feel like my makeup just gets everywhere, basically. Next, I'm going to contour. Um, I've been doing a mix of cream contour and powder contour lately because I'm a mess and I mess up palettes. And, you know, I never said this was like a professional <laughs> routine. It's just like what I do, but I kind of like the blending of it. And I use this brush that I got. Um, I used to be like a member of this thing called Ipsy, but wasn't really doing it for me and I like got super broke. So that's not a thing anymore for me, but it's a good brush regardless. I don't know what company it is because I think the label wore off. If I'm in a hurry, I'll just go with this cream one because it is kind of nice how it's like very subtle. Um, but I don't, I'm not sure how about it lasting that long though. I feel like the powder one that I had lasts longer. We get the four head. So I don't have a five head, even though there's nothing wrong with that. And the temples and the jaw and then the chin. I don't have any double chin action going on. And I contour my nose, which I still, whoa, what? That was not even even, I still don't really know how to do, or even if it does anything, I feel like it looks the same, but it's part of the process. So we do it and I'm still probably doing it wrong. Like I feel like a lot of my techniques are very like old beauty YouTube and TikTok tells me I'm doing something wrong on the daily, but you know, I also tell myself that with my inner demons okay she looks a little bit skinnier then we blend 
This also could be like horrible makeup because I'm literally just looking at my phone. So I feel like that always makes it look different. But these days, aren't we always just doing our makeup for our phones? It's kind of dark, but it feels that way sometimes. Then I take my old reliable, very dirty um, e.l.f. palette and my e.l.f. brush to really contour it on up. Some days I will just do this or I will just do the cream. I don't know, lately I've just been doing both. I, I really have no reason for that. It's just, you know, my routines, girl. But for this one, I really just do the, the cheeks because I have like a very square face. So I don't like to over contour, but I do want to like add some cheekbones so my, because my face is like round at the same time. We blend again. Is that too much? I don't know. I'll probably do that like five more times. I feel like I repeat steps in my process all the time. Then I take my new go-to. Y'all know, ever since Maybelline discontinued their like brow drama or what was it called? They have a brow one now, but it's not the same. I've been like lost trying to find a good eyebrow gel thingy. And Alicia Keys, obsessed with this brand, first of all. This eye product, I'm telling you guys. I did get this first sent to me as like, not spawn con, but like, a gifted i guess that's what you would say but they're i get gifted you know things throughout the years um and this is one of the few products i actually would buy with my own money and when it runs out i'm definitely gonna buy it with my own money because this is the new holy grail for me then for my eyes i take this palette that i got i think literally at like tj maxx i know like everyone says you're not supposed to buy makeup at tj maxx but pretend not to hear that and I do this shade hazelnut and I start by doing the outers. I've been told several times on this app and TikTok as well that I suck at blending and putting out eyeshadow and I'm aware of it, it's cool. But you know what? I like to show you guys how to do makeup if you're also like me and have horrible hand-eye coordination. Also, I feel like my hooded eyes make any like cool look like really hard to do. Then we do the other side. And it's always a challenge to make sure I don't get any of this in my contacts because then it's like a nightmare. I finally hung up my Maybelline's Blush Nudes palette. I actually do use it from time to time still. I've just been switching it up. I totally forgot a step. I line my eyebrows with this from Araceli, this brow pencil. I was like, I knew I was missing something. I don't want them to look like too boxy, but I still keep the same like look. Always one side wants to cooperate better than the other. Then I'm going to take this little baby brush and get that same shade and kind of use it as like a little bit of a liner under here. Then I'm going to take this darker color, cold brew. Wait, actually, what do I do? Cold brew or is it cap? No, it's cappuccino. Cappuccino and on the little tip, do like a little bit of like a fake eyeliner. Well, I mean, it's not fake eyeliner. It's just using eyeshadow to as eyeliner. And we could go further. This is another situation where I need the beer. Then I blend a little. Then I take this mascara from Araceli Beauty, which I've been loving. It says it has avocado oil on it. And I feel like that really makes a difference because it feels like softer. And next we have an OG returning product, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Still obsessed with this. I never deviate deviate from it then for blush i use this bl cream blush from keys beauty again can't say enough good things about them this is a product i will definitely be buying over and over again not sponsored just really like it and i also have the brush that came with it it's in the shade grace by the way i don't know if i said i'm having a sip of liquid courage because this next step is a gamble it's worked before but as you can see i'm almost out of this uh what is it called the soft sculpt transforming skin protector from Mario Badesco, love. I use this all in the summer. I bruise like super easily and I'm around dogs a lot because my boyfriend works in pet care. So I'm always like, of course, when I be around the dogs and like they'll jump on me and I'll get bruises on my legs. This like really helped me in the summer with like my confidence and like shorts wearing with the whole like bruise issue. Also arachnia gel, that makes bruises go away so fast. Anyways, I've been trying to get the last little bit of life left in this. Because it is pricey, and I don't know if with my current financial situation, if it's something that I'm going to be rebuying, especially since it's like winter. I used this on my face, but I really loved it for like the body aspect. The other day I did it and it looked like I just had streaks of brown, and then the other day I did it and it looked good, so we'll see what it, what it does. But I like it. I'm very pale in the winter, and sometimes I feel like that makes me look sick, 
even though I do have chronic sinusitis, so I'm kind of always sick, but I don't want to look it. And then I'm using my brush from e.l.f. I really love Mario Badescu. No, I keep saying Mario Badescu, makeup by Mario. I actually got to work with him one time on a shoot and he's very, very nice, like so down to earth. And so I've always like wanted to support him. So I've always like bought his products after then. Occasionally, like when I could afford it, like I really like his brushes. Oh, this is starting to look a little Oompa Loompa. We might have made a disastrous mistake. Holy Toledo! Oh my gosh, this is not a good look. Okay, so that didn't work. So we're gonna blend it. Um, Mistakes were made. This is a makeup journey, not a makeup destination. Let's remember that. And I think it's saveable though. That's good. Wait, that actually kind of works. Cause I feel like, am I crazy? Or does it still like have a nice, like a little bit of a gold glow, but like, I feel like that wasn't for nothing, but it still looks a little better. Definitely need to redo my blush now. Okay, I feel like that did something. I don't know, I feel like this ring light is blending my light, my eyes too. So this could look horrible. It's always hard to do my makeup when I also have my hair like this. Cause I feel like all I see is like head. So it like is a, like a, a little bit jarring. Next, I'm going to get rid of this shine so I don't look like a glazed donut. And I'm using the ass end of my e.l.f. HD powder, which I'm obsessed with. I used to use the Neutrogena shine control and I just haven't been able to find it lately. And this one's like a lot cheaper, I think. And I use a makeup sponge, which I'm actually out of. So I, this is a scrub moment, but I know I can't be the only one who's doing this. At least I hope I'm not the only one who does has done this, where I went back into my makeup bag and I found like this sponge that's been used and I'm like, well, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? And we just get some of that shine down. I really hope I don't get like a breakout from using this old makeup sponge, but you know what? If I did, it's for you guys because it's currently like 9, 10 p.m. So I'm putting this makeup on and then I'm taking it off. And this is what I meant by I'm gonna do steps over. If I feel like I need to give them a little judge at the end, I give my contour a little more. Bada boom, bada bing, you know what I'm saying? And a baby bit more blush because you can never have too much. That's not true. Definitely had too much before. Um, for lips, I'm gonna use this in the shade Tan Lines, this Lip Retreat Oil from Wonder Beauty. I like to switch up my lip thing. I'll do something different every day pretty much, but this one, I've really liked because it's like very hydrating for when it's like winter and dry out. And I'm not really a gloss girl, so I do like the kiss rule to like kind of tone it down so it looks like a little bit more natural. Sometimes I'll forget to wipe this off and I'll be walking around with this random ass kiss. And then I'm gonna lightly spray with my NYX matte finish. Which smells so good. I know a lot of people don't like fragrant products, but I really actually do. And then, oh gosh, she got the gym hair. So, oh, it's always a gamble when you're like, oh, I shouldn't shower. I, sh I can just put my hair up. But we need to blend the hairline. Oh no, that was too much blending. You, you're you like, I'll just put my hair up, dry shampoo it, but then like you do your makeup and then you're like, oh, maybe I should have shower. I feel like I'm a little shiny now from that spray. I might've done too much, but say la vie. You live and you learn, you know? Good of a judge, gotta give it the old hair metal flip. Oh my gosh, the hair, it's not about the hair, you guys. It's about the look that is a little bit shiny, so. I feel like I should edit out these moments or I feel like sometimes I'll do these videos and be like, oh man, like why did I post that? Because there's so many of me making mistakes, but that's life. Like sometimes a makeup routine online isn't perfect <laughs> because I don't know, not everyone's a makeup guru. You know what? I know what I need. Okay, my hair's a mess and it is winter. So this is like how I normally would be looking with like a hat on. This is one my dad got me from a brewery he went to, I guess. So. Voila. Yeah, so this is my updated like go-to makeup routine. I hope you guys liked it and thank you for sticking with me on my messing it up throughout the way and Feels good to be back and I hope to see you guys soon. I wanna do some recipe videos because not gonna lie, in the time of me not posting, I have kind of become Loki a good cook. 
I mean, my methods are still absolutely crazy. And yes, I leave the kitchen looking in absolute disarray. Like Hiroshima just went off. I'm still pescatarian, but I do a lot of like the beyond meat or impossible meat. And I'm really good at transforming. My boyfriend's whole family, they're Chilean and they're really into like Argentinian barbecue though. Also, we made empanadas for them and they did not know that it wasn't real meat. They're like blown away. So like, and they're like super meat eaters. So if I can convince like people who are very much like meat eaters, I feel like my work as like a vegan adjacent home chef, I'm not gonna call myself a home chef. Um, I don't know, it just feels good. So yeah, I definitely have some recipe videos. I think it's gonna be the next thing I do for you guys because I'm cooking pretty much every day for dinner now and I might as well just take you along with me. So yeah, I'm a little rusty. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me tonight on this cold winter evening. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night or day or week or whatever. And that you give yourself a little bit of a break. Because this time of year is like hella stressful, okay? As magical as it can be, it can be really sad and really stressful. And just, you know, decorate if you want to. If you don't, whatever. Whatever brings you joy. It doesn't even have to be Christmas related. Just find this time to i think why am i doing like a tony robbins speech i don't know thanks guys for hanging out with me and i will catch you guys on the flip side oh here's a close-up for the thumbnail what should i do should i stick out my tongue no that's weird that's like fetish well it gets views